Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. So, <coughs> sorry, today we will recreate uh, one of my last pictures, this uh, mechanic stream. And I got uh, questions about how I uh, covered this shape with, with these nuts here, so uh, with these six sided shapes. Yeah, I want to show you how I did this. And you can do this trick, trick, uh, this, this thing with almost every shape. So, so of course, you get some distortions at, at, at the sides and something else, but uh, that's not really a problem, I think. Good. So, yeah, let's try it. Let's do it. Let's make it. I first show you uh, this uh, this way with a with simple shape, it's like a hemisphere, and then we do a, a more complicated shape like this bust. And yeah, I will render it in, in Octane, I think, because this is really, uh, this is just an, an, a chromium uh, material, a chrome material I don't need, so, so. And a chrome material with, with one of my rigs here, so nothing else. Good, let's make a six side thing. Leading, single leading. Six sides, and let's say 20, 40, and 20. 20. So, nice. Uh, next step, we clone this guy in a honeycomb array, not here, so MoGraph, Cloner, and I need a honeycomb array. So I go in front view to see it better, and here I want to see the wireframe, and let's go down here. Uh, same and do that. I don't do it exact, but, uh, but this is more than enough here. And you see that that's okay, fine. So, and I want more clones, of course. Let's see. To twenty to forty. That should be okay for for a test. So. How can we defo deform this whole thing here? I do it with a mesh deformer. But with the mesh deformer, of course, we need first a mesh that covers this whole cloner. And then, so a cage who covers this whole, and then I wanna uh, uh, reshape this, this cage. So, let's do this. Uh, First, we could. I show you the easiest way. The easiest way is uh, I make a mesh uh, deformer. So, if I want to make the cloner, the whole cloner in a mesh deformer, so I need the cloner in a null object. And under the null object, the mesh deformer. So, the mesh deformer works on everything under it. Good. Now, I take. Let's see, no, not a cube, I make a plane in plus C. And I have to be sure that the, the plane, T for scale, covers my whole cloner here. So, okay, good. I want to bring this a little before my cloner here, so. And I want to give it some thickness. Uh, I did this not with a cube because uh, I want to show this now with a simple uh, displaced deformer and this displaced deformer on a cube does not work like this. So this plane I give thickness with the Pi extruder. The link is uh, in the description we find a link to my website and there you will find every uh, plugin and everything I use here. Okay, so Pi extruder plane. By extruder minus 22, let's say, so this should cover the whole cloner. You see, you the orange, orange, okay, this looks nice when I see it here, okay, perfect. And now with the mesh deformer, 
the mesh deformer needs a cage and uh, let's first let's first bring in a, a displace deformer where is my displacer i use it so often and then never find it here <laughs> and the first i want the displacer working and then the mesh deformer or wait 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 yeah i think it's okay so in the displacer shading i'll use a simple noise here oh no that's that's stupid i need the displacer here and that's what i need yeah here i need the displacer because i wanted to displace the plane and not <laughs> the mesh the, the mesh uh, should uh, shape the cloner and the, here the displacer under the plane so uh, let's see, 300 maybe, and let me see something. Make it as, uh, give the plane more. 100 by 100. So. Shading. So, okay. make it maybe 200 okay nice looks quite nice and now I want that the, the uh, cloner follows this shape here first I go to my displacer and disable it and then I go to my mesh deformer and he, it mesh deformer needs a cage and the cage is the pie extruder that covers my whole cloner now I hit on initialize. Okay, that works. If you see this grid here, then you know it works. Now I activate the, the displacer. You see, oh, nothing happens. Okay, put the cloner in a connect object and try it again. First, uh, let's initialize new. So, okay, and now, boop, you see, it works. It perfectly works. We have our six sides along this shape. And that looks <laughs> quite nice. <laughs> uh, it looks even nicer when we let's go back here. And uh, normally this should go back to uh, restore okay now uh, let's make on the tube some fillets here so three three maybe which looks nice and if you change anything on the geometry here of course you have always to make the mesh here and uh, the mesh deformer initially initially initialize new <laughs> so now this needs a little longer to initialize because we have more subdivisions so some more, more geometry again so here and we have this wonderful thing here going on then if you want this not so 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 round you can go to your tube here go down with with the phone tag oopsie then you see it's more flat on the sides but you have here problem uh there's so edge phone breaks uh, that does not really help us we can subdivide our uh, tubes here so let's go back here mesh restore the tube i go to my subdivision surface but now we get the strings yeah, it could look funny too but i want my six sides so i go to my subdivision surface and go from catmull clark and goes to open sub d bilinear 
Now I have my six sides, but I have subdivided them. So let's bring in two by two, maybe. So this, of course, now needs longer to to uh, initialize because we have much more sub, uh, much more uh, geometry. But let's try it. We have now ten megabytes here. You see in the memory. Initialize it. And this needs a little longer, you see, it works, 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 works. But shouldn't be all too long. Eh, come on. I know it's hot, but it doesn't matter. You have to work when I have to work, you have to work too. Come on, it's not so hard. <laughs> yeah, okay, done. As you see, now we have 160 megabyte here. Okay, and whoops. And now you see, they are the six sides are bending too because they have enough subdivisions. They are now they are bending too. So this is this is of course a nice effect. And now we don't have any shading problems here. Okay, and now let's do this with the more complicated stuff like the past. Good, Jupchi, 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 restore. Away with this, I don't need to play in here. This, yeah, okay, we can use this, but I don't need any subdivision surface for now. Good, let's bring in such a past here. You go to a sculpting, base meshes, and here we have it. Don't need the texture here. And from the female bust, I uh, just need the bust and not the whole feature. So, so let's go to here and let's cut a little bit. Don't worry. She feels nothing, I hope. <laughs> UF for fill selection and I fill it. UF, fill it here and here and cut it away. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to be a woman. Uh, UL for loop selection. So, and loop select here and loop select here. And UF again for the fill selection, so I fill it here, here, here. Okay, and delete it. Good, I have my bust. So, what I do is I, with magic center, I center my axis here. This is okay. If you, if you don't have the magic center plugin, uh, you can do this with the axis center tool as well. And if you don't have it in the toolbar, you go to Mesh, Axis Center, and here you will find it. Okay. And this is uh, nice, but I want to subdivide it a little bit, at least once. So right click and subdivide, but uh, before you subdivide, go to this cog wheel here and click Smooth Subdivision. And now, okay, that looks much better. I'm happy with this. So what we need, we need uh, the size that it covers the whole Kelowna again. So let's bring back the Kelowna here. T for scale, rust. And so, 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 so. E, bring it down a little bit, so, okay. But what we need, we need a flat version of this bust. Because for the for the cage we mean we need to cover this uh, clone here. So what I do is I make a second version of this base. This is the normal one. This is this one. Hide it, and I need a flat version of it. Okay, flat. To get a flat version, it's quite easy. I go to here, and we see. Okay, this is the c-axis, and the c-axis the size set it to zero. Now I have a flat version of this. 
But I have problems here, you see, you have here some overlapping uh, polygons and, and points. With this, the, the mesh, this mesh wouldn't work for the, for the mesh deformer, so we have to refine this first. So let's do this. I go to my flat mesh here. This UL. I select. So let's go here. Tuck, tuck, tuck. So, and UI to invert the selection. So because I want that that I work just on the selected points and not on the outer uh, points here. So with MC you can get to your brush tool. And here I go to smooth. Okay. And this smooth, I just make it a little bigger. And now just smooth it. Just click on it until you don't see any. So this, this is perfect on the other side too. But this is the only really important thing you don't see. Uh, watch out that you don't have any overlapping geometry. So, that's it. It's not more to do, just on this flat one. Okay. Now I take both and bring it a little in the, in the front here. So before. Uh, again, the same like before. Now I go to my flat version. And bring in the, uh, the Pi extruder. Again, minus 22 was a nice number. Let's see. Yes, orange, orange. Everything is nice here. So, okay. And that's more than less it. So I go to my mesh deformer, bring in the Pi extruder. Ah, not now. What we need now is, of course, we need. We don't want to this mesh. We want to deform the whole thing to, to this mesh. So, let's bring in a post-morph character, post-morph tag. And I want to use the points. And in advanced, here we have the target, I use the normal one. So, this one, exactly. When I go to animate here, you see, when I go to the strength, whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, you could play with this, I know. So, <laughs> and we need a flat version here now for the mesh deformer. I go to the mesh deformer, bring in the Pi extruder, and initialize. Okay, looks nice. And now, when I go to the post morph, whoops, we get this. That's it. And as more as you, you uh, subdivide your past or your, your shape uh, for the cage, you get less distortion than, or if, if you make here in a cloner, more cloner, so, but you have a quite big uh, six sides here, so uh, they distort more. But uh, yeah, and now of course we can do the same. We can go back here, so strength to zero. Let's activate the subdivision surface here but let's do it with one so that, that does not calculate that that long so okay and yeah simply initialize new we have 580 megabytes here now so. okay ba -ba -ba -bum. back here now it's they, they are bending too but as you see they they are not really nice bending so if we make as more subdivisions you give the, on the tube here so in, in this subdivision it's better the uh, the result will be of course i give it one more why not uh, I will lock this here so that I don't have to search every time for it Go to my subdivision surface and go to two, 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 two. and again mesh initialize. Bam, bang, bang. Well, it was faster now, and yeah, that should be it.
Yeah, that looks much nicer. And now if we render this, we have our thing here, which looks quite nice, I think. Huh? Okay, so what you can do now is we render this out. So as I said, I'm doing it just in Octane, but uh, uh, it, it's nothing easier than in, uh, than make a metal material in, in uh, physical renders. So, so just deactivate everything except the reflection channel and that's it. Uh, yeah, maybe I, oh, maybe I should post this. Doesn't matter. Good, I start with the Octane version. I bring in my scene rig. With the floor I go down here. Me, 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 down, no, 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 floor. Oops. Uh, Somewhere like this, maybe so. Okay. Then let's make a metal material. So we have here close zero metallic and bring it on our cloner. Good, and yeah, this this already should look not bad. That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> why? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Come on. Really? <laughs> Not with me, my friend. Not with me. <laughs> Maybe. The reason is the Pi extruder is over it. Don't, don't render it. So now we are here. Now we're talking. So this is of course far too shiny. Let's go to here. So whoop. No editor. First I want the roughness. Something like that, so then an RGB spectrum. I think it's big on the map here. No, oh, this is okay. Then let's bring it to the fuse, but this won't have much sense here, so then Uh, something like that, but of course with with another uh, HDRI it looks much better. So let's go to first to the octane background floor. I want a background on and a darker background, so something like that. Let's see how easy it is to work with with this. <laughs> so let's bring in another HDRI. Oops. Uh, HDRI is here and indoor uh, maybe this one yay look this nice shadow here man. this is nice okay and that's it the more is not to do here Uh, you could play with this, of course. Uh, let's bring in the Pi Extruder. And on the Pi Extruder, I give Atomary. 
<laughs> it looks nice too. <laughs> it's the same material as. Uh, that looks great. <laughs> okay, and so on. I think you know what I mean. And yeah, I t I'll show you now that the way for the physical render too. So just delete this. Delete the obtain rig. Ba -ba 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 so bye bye. And bring in the physical rig. We will keep the background floor. Down the floor. So. Okay. Render, let's see, low GI for the moment and make a reflective material. So, the chromium, as I said, whoop, layer frame conductor, chromium, that's it. And of course, a glossy layer here with GGX, and that's it. Bring it on the atom array and on the cloner here. And the rig is already here, so let's see what we get. Should do something. Yep. But here as well, I want a dark background. and another HDRI of course shift F8 again we used this one but somehow it looks this is not here it's deformed but not in the render It's interesting. Is it with normal render too? Let's see. Shift R. Or is it just in the interactive render region? Yeah, it's just in the interactive render region here it works. And you see how fast it works here simply with the physical render too. <laughs> I like it really. <laughs> okay. So my friends, that's it. I hope you like this and uh, half an hour, that's nothing. Now I'm quite sure I will do another tutorial this weekend. And uh, yeah, but I'm working on the updates for the scene rig and everything. So, so. And it is, and every time when I work on something, you know, and, 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 and let's do this and look at this and this and this and then I can't stop then. Uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah, what you can do, you still can now uh, change everything more than this. So, you can, uh, yeah, do everything. So, so let's go back here. So, oops. let's hide the item array for the moment. And da -da -da -da, we don't need this one. Let's say you want smaller tubes or something. Uh, yes. 10, 20. Yeah, of course, we have to bring them together and. Uh, but um, disable the subdivision surface here. Let's play a little bit with it. Why not? Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's let's a little gap between. Why not? Let's see how this looks when we are done. Uh, something like that. Uh, one less. Yep, better. And of course, many more of them. Thirty. 
40. Yep. 80. Yep. That's a lot. But the result should be much better than. So I do it without subdivision now because of the initializing that it does not take too long. Uh, initialize. Oh, that was fast. And yeah, that should work theoretically. Yeah, and now you don't have this these big distortions. That looks great. So let's see what we get. Yeah, perfect. That looks nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good. So far, so good. I hope you like this one. And yeah, tell me what you think about it in the comments, please. Or uh, on my Facebook group, uh, on my Facebook site. Or if you have questions, complaints, uh, requests, everything you want, just tell me. And yeah, if you want to support me on Patreon, would would be very nice. Uh, you can do so. You will find the link in the description, as well as a link to my PayPal if you want to donate something. <laughs> it is always welcome. And yeah, so I wish you a wonderful weekend. And as I said, I'm, I'm quite sure that I will make another tutorial this weekend. And uh, yeah, okay, that's it. Have a nice day. Here it's now. Uh, yeah, it's lunchtime. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Good, bye bye. Tschüss und baba.